And I am sorry to inform those of you who have been watching lately who may have been looking forward to uh, anything uh, uh, future content-wise that was to be happening this weekend as well as the uh, coming weeks after as well. Um, due to the fact that I'm dealing with some family issues right now and uh, amongst other things, you know, there's family issues mainly though. As well as maybe anyone else might be dealing with in the future, but right now it's me here, uh, and I figured as I get into things about what's going to happen, let's watch, being that this is Unforeseen Circumstances, a match between a guy who is now the number one guy in the land, and a guy who knows firsthand what an Unforeseen Circumstance just means. Chris Benoit. We, got one we all know that wasn't going to be seen King. coming. Let's best. be honest. We Didn't see it coming. But, uh, yeah, so Benoit versus CM Punk. So, oh, man. I can't wait to in the light of recent events of what's going to be happening for me personally, uh, I'm not going to be divulging into that as that is personal matter, but I will be uh, away um, on some family matters at the moment uh, for a few days. So we won't be able to continue activities this week and possibly next week. Um, but the week after that, we will be back at some point near the latter half of that week, or possibly the very earliest latter half of this coming week. But either or, either this coming Thursday or the next Thursday, we'll be back and running as usual. And with that said, we'll be kicking off with New Japan and then a whole weekend of Brad's stuff, a.k.a. Vincent Mann or Jeff Jarrett, either way, plus he has a pay-per-view that weekend. So it's literally a whole weekend of Brad. Um... Aside from Tristan's one show of New Japan as Giant Baba. Um, so from there we'll continue on as, as usual. And after that week, the next week coming is the week build up to the uh, complete mashup. The whole grand show. As we'll be seeing for the first month under pay-per-view in Reborn. But for right now... Um, should anyone have any questions, please let us know in any comment form, whether it be in the future on YouTube or even here on Twitch if anyone happens to see us at the moment. But uh, right now, I just hope you guys enjoy the match, and hopefully this is uh, a consolation enough to you, the match that should have happened over the ECW title, CM Punk and Chris Benoit. I, uh, I leave you to that. I am uh, sorry for the inconvenience to anyone looking forward to the shows this weekend and in the future will be delayed by a little bit. But uh, don't hate us. You know, we're all humans here. We all got stuff to deal with. And uh, I do thank you for your patience at this time for everyone. So enjoy the match. Here is CM Punk in the ring now. And up next, here comes Chris Benoit. And his opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 220 pounds... Now, for those who don't know about the whole Chris Benoit thing, um, his wife, Nancy Benoit at that time, she used to uh, play a character back in, I, I believe it was WCW, sometimes ECW, he, he flopped around between the alliances, uh, companies there for a while before he came to WWE, um, his wife, Nancy Benoit, used to play a character called Woman, literally just called Woman, just Woman, um, she was married to Kevin Sullivan, in a storyline, things are set up to have her leaving him for Chris Benoit. But the storyline happened so well, it actually happened in real life. They got married. She divorced Kevin Sullivan. And many suspect that Kevin Sullivan may have been involved in the death of Benoit and his family. But looking back on it, you can look over all the evidence you want. There's so much either way you could go with it. So I'm not going to say at this time whether I believe he did or didn't kill himself and his family or whether someone else did. I'm just going to say it was, uh, for all regards, a tragic circumstance, uh, unforeseen like mine is right now, uh, and quite the tragic scene. It's, it's unfortunate that it had to happen. And to all those whom it affected, 
we wish you only the best in life and hope that uh, you can be able to move on with your life and not think about this every day. Um, it, it really takes a part of you when someone dies. And you need to try to stay positive. And it's unfortunate what happened. Um, some facts, if anyone's interested in knowing about the actual murder scene, for those who can't bear to hear it, uh, I would wish at this time that you don't continue listening, but there are some facts to it for those wondering. Benoit's son was listed by the police as strangled to death by a pillow, um, suffocated, uh, suffocated by a trash bag. They couldn't quite get their story straight. That is one thing that's strange. They also listed his wife as being found in his office, in upstairs, and downstairs, which is two, three different places at the very least, too, which is very confusing. Where did you find the dead body is really not a hard thing to mess, you know, like, I don't see how you mess that up. Was the body upstairs or was it downstairs? It's like, is one plus one two or is it five? It's quite obviously two. And the dead body was quite obviously either in one place like or it wasn't. I fully expect him to Not, it was here, there, and over there, and up there, and down here. That always seemed kind of strange for, for some, I've heard. Uh, and quite honestly, I think maybe reports got mixed up. You never know. I, I wasn't there, I wouldn't know. I can't quite say. But as far as the uh, Benoit's phone calls, even Chavo Guerrero noted that he sounded kind of strange. And also, this day, Benoit's phone is still missing. Please turn it off. It's still missing now. No one ever found his cell phone. Another thing, though, as some might point to it as, people think that Benoit did it. And again, I'm not going to say whether I do or don't. But uh, evidence that points to the side of maybe Benoit did do it is the fact that when he hung himself, he also had a towel around his neck, so that way if he hung himself and it didn't kill him and it broke his neck, that at least he wouldn't have a scar. So he, he was concerned about how he looked if he hadn't successfully killed himself, but he didn't care about his family. So think of that what you will. I'm not going to go further into that part and say bad things about uh, Benoit. Oh, wait, whoa, Seth Rollins is here. Seth Rollins just came out. He's been feeling intimidated lately by CM Punk being the new big dog on the block, and I don't think he likes him one bit. He's here. Oh, my God. Anaconda Vice on Benoit. Rollins is getting up on the apron trying to undo the turnbuckle. The rest. What in the world? What is this? So unexpected. And Benoit's headbutting Punk repeatedly now. He's not exactly popping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? And again, the mind games are played. And now Rollins threw in a chair. And Punk is just laying up on the top, just chill. And now he kicked Benoit. Uh, who is Rollins here for? I would think it would be easier for Benoit. I, I would hope. Wait, wait, he's just, he is, he is, he threw in the chair, now Benoit's getting the advantage, oh, oh my god, the rivalry is real, the rivalry is real, oh, he pile driver Benoit, the chair, the pile driver, wait, Rollins is getting up in the apron, distracting Punk, he's having some words with him, oh boy, things are getting here between Punk and Rollins, oh no, he's distracting him again, and then Benoit got Punk, Benoit got Punk with a powerbomb, Gonna count the pin. One, One two. two. He kicked out of two, and now we got a Boston Crab. Oh my, Rollins cheering on Benoit. And Punk got out oh, of the Boston Crab. Wait, Dash yeah, Wilder? Dirty Dash Wilder is here. What some. business does We've he possibly have being match. here? The down and this, match has come apart. this is a big war. What a war we got going on. I guess it's a great build to that uh, end of the month favorite view coming up in the future. Everyone at war lately, it seems like. Wow. And Benoit hitting his comeback. Dirty Dash is here. Maybe he wants to make a name for himself, having been outcasted in WCW. And he's here to support CM Punk, thinking maybe that'll get some friends and some fans on his side. He has no one. 
But now I think he found a friend. Perhaps Punk should look to take Dash under his wing if he wins this one. Dash distracting Benoit, getting some revenge for CM Punk here. While Punk takes the time to recover, try to get to the ropes. He's finally somewhat conscious. And he's reversing here. He's elbowing off Benoit. This is insane. He's got him up for the GTS. GTS. Go to sleep. Benoit. He hit it. He hit it. Ref's going to count the pin. He's trying to get control of these two men outside here. They're going crazy right now. One. Two. No. Benoit kicked out at two from the GTS. Punk is so mad. He can't believe it. What is going on? Wow. Wait a second. Another GTS. Another GTS. He hit it. And he's bleeding. Benoit's bleeding. Toothless aggression is bleeding. I think he knocked a tooth out. Wait, wait, oh, he was going for something else and Punk got thrown away here. Oh no, wait, Benoit punched him. Oh, I think the blood's got Benoit enraged. Toothless aggression has been unlocked. We got a German suplex. Another, oh wait, no, it was a teardrop. A teardrop and a, no, that, that, that was a German suplex. I don't know what's going on here, folks, but this, this is crazy. Oh, whoa, a bloody headbutt from Benoit. And now more headbutts. Bloody style from Benoit. To do next. Me too. Wow. I'm even trying to figure out what they're this is going do next. insane. I, I honestly don't know what these guys were thinking coming out here, God, but it's certainly not anything, anything that anyone was thinking beforehand to this point. This. This oh, wait. Oh, what a reversal there. The and the Northern Lights. He's got him down too. Punk kicked out. Dash here for Punk. Rollins here for Benoit. Benoit bleeding. Taking a couple GTSs, still fighting off Punk best as he can here. Wait, punched him. And we got a teardrop suplex. And yet another teardrop suplex. And another German suplex from Benoit. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this Drags magnitude. Drags Punk. He's going to take the pin now. There's the cover. One, two. Three! Benoit beat Punk! Benoit beat Punk! So much for being the big dog in Radar Land, the best man in the land. Rollins here to claim that he is still the best. The war is real, folks. The war is real. We saw Seth Rollins, the AAA Mega Champion. We saw CM Punk, the new big man in the land. We saw Chris Benoit. We Here's saw winner, Dash, Chris Dirty Dash Seth Wilder. Ben and uh, yeah, for reasons to be unknown. But uh, yeah, we saw... Guys, um, this is the last time we see quite a bit of talent in that room there. We saw a guy from pretty much every company, it seemed like. We saw a guy from ECW. We saw a guy from, uh, sorry, no, sorry, no, um, WCW, rather. We saw a guy from New Japan. Um, we saw a guy from NWA. We saw a guy from AAA. It, it, it was crazy. But yeah, and not to say that it was all Rollins' fault that Punk lost. Punk could have very easily won. I give complete credit to Benoit for getting that victory. It was all Benoit. Because Punk's friend Dash is his newfound friend. More like a uh, newfound uh, loser friend. But uh, Dash came out there and he actually distracted Benoit for those who don't realize it. Uh, Benoit got GTS two times in a row and busted open because of that. Benoit still found a way to get the victory. What's Benoit's overall? 98 overall. Benoit has beaten the best man in the land. Six overall difference. New Japan's Chris Benoit has beaten NWA's CM Punk here on this press conference. Um, Chris Benoit has uh, also, by the way, yet to have 
debuted in New Japan, I, I don't believe he has. I do not believe Giant Baba knows much about Benoit and has had much conversation with him, but hopefully he does in the future after that match. We're hearing rumors of a trade for Yoshi for Chris Benoit. That would be pretty interesting. Uh, I thank you folks for watching. This press conference and understanding things that are going on around here and sticking with us and thank you and have a good day hopefully you enjoyed the match and the insight thanks for watching